Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the latest way to unlock your passcode or disable iPhones on the iOS 15 down to the iOS 11. If you forget your own iPhone passcode and it get on the disable screen and you don't have access to the recovery option, you can try this method and easily unlock your device. So without wasting the time, let's start this process. Now first I will tell you what are the requirements and what you will need to run the tool and do all the process. So I will list all the things on my screen so you can read that. So the most important you will require the Mac operating system. Also if you have a Windows user you can try the Hackintosh method as well. So you can read the following requirements on the screen and then proceed further. Now the list of the tools that are required in the video one is the HFS activator, other one is the i4 tools that is the alternate of the three tools and one is the check print patch and other things are the dependency that are required so for the i4 tool you can just google it or i have already made the video also on my youtube channel so you can watch that video and understand how you can install the i4 tool that is the alternate of the three tools for mac or you can google just i4 tools or i4 cn and you will get the official website link this website is currently in the chinese version so you can translate that also the tool is also in the chinese language so but it's similar like three tools like all the options that are having in the three tools also in this i4 tool and in the installation if you get this kind of warning it's very simple just click on ok go to the security and the privacy and after that allow the app from there after that it will open now you can easily install it now once it will install you can see all the option is available in the three rules are similar like this but the language is different now we are done with the i4 tools next you will require a checkpoint patch version it's a different from the normal version it's a modification of the 0.12.2 rg patch version so if you want to install it the process is simple extract the zip file and you will get this version and don't use the checkrin official version use only this patch version for this process otherwise you will face some problems now next we will require the main software that is the hfz passcode premium tool it's a latest version currently 1.4.1 so you can download all these links from the description you will get on my blog and download all the files for free after that simply install it on your system if you see the same kind of warning the process is same you need to allow from the security and the privacy after that you can run the tool now you can see the interface now it's asking you to connect your device into the dfu mode so we will see exactly how it will go now first that is important if the tool is not opening and showing some errors you can install the dependencies also like the new version doesn't require the dependency pre-installed but still if you face any issues like exploit failed or ssh not connected you can install all the dependency one by one it's a homebrew so copy the first command paste it into your terminal click on enter now enter your mac password after that it will install it on your system it will take time according to your internet speed now some user will face this kind of error so it's very easy to fix copy this line from the last option now just paste it on the terminal now hit on enter now enter your mac password this command will give you the permission or you can say change the permission of that folder after that you can install it now clear all the things now run the same homebrew command again and this time you will not see any kind of error it will install normally and complete it so wait for it to get complete now it's done we have successfully installed the first command that is homebrew without any issues if you still face any errors you can run this brew doctor command this command will exactly tell you what are the errors that are available in the homebrew installation but we have already fixed the homebrew command previously so it will not give you any error now next you will get all so three more commands that is the libusb, libusb mugsd and other one is the open SSL. These three is also important so you can copy and paste it on the terminal one by one and simply install it. These three commands are already installed on my system so I will not show you how to install it. It's very simple 
but for the last command i will just show you so give you the example now just paste it and hit on enter so now you can see it's showing me the open ssl is already installed on my system so you can copy one by one and install it now we have installed all the dependency that are required by the software now everything is set we have installed all the dependency that are required now next important thing you need to restart your system so that all these dependency will work well so let me just restart my system then we will see now i have back after the restart now i have connected my device you can use it on the passcode screen or if you have a disable screen it will work as well and as i mentioned in the starting this support the ios 15 down to the ios 12 and ios 11 is also supported but for that you need to update your device with the user retain option from the three tools and it will update to the latest version and then you can bypass with this method and the supported model is iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X. Now first open the check print patch version. Next you need to connect your device in the recovery mode. So press the button combination as per your device model. After that you will see the details on the check print app. And make sure that you will only use the check print patch version. Now you can see it open the iTunes just close that and also on the i4 tool you will see your device is connected in the recovery mode. After that allow the untested iOS version. Now click on next. Now you need to put the button combination to put your device into the DFU mode but we don't have to make the jailbreak. We just need to put our device into the DFU mode and close the check run app immediately after your device is in the DFU mode. So wait for it. Now you can see that I am entering into the DFU mode and when my device is entered into the DFU mode also the connected with the i4 tool I will just close the check run app immediately. So now you can see I have closed the check run app immediately and you can see device is in the DFU mode. It's clearly black screen so don't worry about that. It's a complete DFU mode and you can see on i4 tools also. Now open the HFZ premium passcode activator. Now on the tool you will see your device detail like ECID, EPID number or your model number and the product code. Now the important thing you have to copy your ECID and you need to register this ECID on the tool. So just paste it somewhere. Now you need to send the ECID to me for registration. I will display the official price on the screen so you can check that and if you want the reseller and the distribution prices so you can check out on the screen all the prices are mentioned there. You just need to go to my blog you will get the social media platform link. So you can contact me there, you can contact me on telegram, instagram or other places. So you can check out that or check out the description link to get this direct official link. After registering the ECID number, now you can use the tool. Now the first step you need to click on the boot option. This will put your device into the pawn DFU mode from the normal DFU mode. So now you can see you need to click on run checkmate as this tool works on the checkmate exploit as your device will get into the pawn mode and exploit your device with some important files like IBS and iBoot files and load the RAM disk. So now you will get this message like your device is successfully exploited. After that click on SSH check so it will check the SSH connection between your device. So now the you need to register your ECID that's why it's showing the ECID not registered. So let me just first register my device and then I will show you the further steps. Now the device has been registered so you can use the tool. Now click on the boot. Now wait for it until get complete. It will send the necessary files into your device so you can check the progress on the tool. Make sure that your internet connection is good and good speed so that it will do fast and 2-3 times your iTunes will pop up so you can close that and you can also check the progress on the i4 tool also your device will get reconnect and disconnect at the same time so you can check on the i4 tools after the complete you will see that your device is successfully booted now click on ok and now select the SSH check now this will check the SSH connection so now you can see the SSH is also connected. Now you will get another option to backup your device and also there are some option to delete the account or restore that. So don't click on that you have to just make the backup from the first option and the backup will already made on the desktop. So when you click on the backup the backup will automatically create on your desktop and make sure that you check the backup manually like there is the SISV file or IC control file in the fair play folder. After the backup done, 
Now you can just download the IPSW of the latest file for your device. So I've already downloaded the latest 15.4 or currently it's 15.4.1. So you can download the latest file. Now you need to complete flash your device. You can use the iTunes or if you have it through tools on Windows, you can also use that and complete the flash. So I'm currently switch on my Windows system. So I will just connect my device into the recovery mode. And after that, simply flash it. You just need to complete flash your device so that it will come on the hello screen. And after that, we can activate the device with the same backup we have made. Now once the flash done, just activate the device, connect with the Wi-Fi and stay on the activation lock screen. Now we are ready to activate the device, so go to the Mac again. Now open the tool, now repeat the step again. First put your iPhone into the recovery mode and after that open the check run patch. Now click on next. After that open the check run app and continue the jailbreak process. You have to just put your device into the DFU mode and after that quickly cancel the check run app when your device is successfully done into the DFU mode. So now just cancel it. Now you can see on the screen the i4 tools also say that your device into the DFU mode. Now open the HFS tool and click on boot. Now run the checkmate. This will put your device into the pawn DFU mode. Now you can see we have successfully exploited the device. Now click on SSH check. Now it will send the necessary files again. So it's the same process like you have done in the backup mode. You have to do the same for the activate iPhone also. Now the device is booted successfully. Now click again on the SSH check. Now this time you will see SSH is connected. So wait for it to get complete. Now you can see SSH is connected successfully. Now click on OK. Now you can easily activate the device of the backup you have made previously. So you can go to the desktop and you can verify your backup. There is all the files. You can save this backup for the future use also. You can copy it somewhere else. Now click on the restore button. Now wait for it to get complete. It will copy all the files and activate your device. Now you can see the restore is done. Now your device will might restart. And after that you will easily activate your device. So now you can see that I am on the data and privacy page. My device is successfully activated with that backup and it will not ask me the activation lock. So you can simply activate the device and go to your home screen. So now you can check out the iPhone is working and there is no issue. Everything works well. So I will show you step by step that it's working on the iOS 15 as well as the calling FaceTime. Siri, iMessages, App Store, everything will work with the untethered. So now let me just place a call on my number and see the calling is working or not. SIM is already inserted and the carrier name and the signals are showing on the top. So now you can see that I am getting the call from my number and the calling is perfectly working. Now next I will try to log in in the iCloud. So now you can see that the iCloud login is perfectly working. Now the FaceTime is also working. Let's try the Siri. Hey Siri, open the App Store. Now Siri and App Store both works well. Now let's the untethered way. So I will just reboot it and show you that it will not lock again after the reboot. So now as you can see everything is working after the restart also so you can use the sim card place the call iCloud login and the other stuff so I will try to make the call again 
so it will confirm that the sim is still working after the reboot so now you can see i'm getting the call again so everything is working with this method so you can try it if you got your own device and you forget the all the recovery option so you can try this method and easily help it out so that's all for the video i hope you like the content so just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more cool update so till then goodbye take care and peace out